Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding counting instances in text, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in Google interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the number of times the words bull and bear occur in the contents we are counting the number of times the words occur so words like bullish should not be included in our count okay output the word bull and bear along with the corresponding number of occurrences so basically we are given a data frame called google file store and our output is a pandas data frame with two different columns the word bull and bear and the number of times they appear in the contents so let's preview this uh, data frame that we have so it has two columns file name and content so we need to basically uh, count that okay in in this entire data frame how many times bull appear and how many times bear appear right and we need to count that and output that so if you look at it right so here what we can do is we can split this entire contents into different individual words and then count the number of times they appear right and then once we have that then we are only required to keep those uh, output for words bull and beer right so firstly what we should do is we should convert this entire thing into lowercase because like if there are uh, you know words like bull spelled with a capital b or a capital l in between so our output should not depend upon that right so what we can do is from this data frame google file store right in we are only concerned about the contents column right so let's keep only the contents column and then what we should do is we can use the lower method of the string object dot lower right so let's run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it right so now the entire thing is converted into lowercase now what I, what we were discussing about is like let's break this into individual words right so what we can do is we can use the split method of the string object right so we can write again dot str dot split right let me run this again let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it so these are the lists of words that are appearing right so this is this is what we are having right now how to get rid of the list so that we are only left with the words right so to do that we can use dot explode method right so what if i write here dot explode right so if I run this, right, so if you look at it, right, so now it has all the, the whatever we had, the different words in different lists, now it exploded the entire thing in vertical form and it has all those words, right. So now once we have this, then how do we count in a data frame the number of unique times different things occur? We simply use value counts, right. So if I write dot, right, dot value counts, right. Let me run this. Okay, so now here you are seeing numbers, right? So basically the words are being indexed here. So let me, you know, uh, get rid of that. So if I write dot reset index, and now if I run this, right? So now you have how many times different words appeared in the content section, right? But we are not concerned about all of those, right? We are only concerned about bull and beer, right? So what we can do is let's store this in a data frame called DF and then apply Boolean indexing, right? So now DF is equal to then df so either you know either df uh, dot so this column is called index right so df index is equal to equal to bull right or it is right or it is equal to bear right so df index is equal to equal to bear right uh, okay, so now once we have this, let's see what we are having. Are we having only the two rows? So now if you look at it, you are only having the two rows. However, the only thing remaining to do in this case is we need to change the name of the columns, right? To match the expected output. So what we can do is we can write df.rename. What do we want to rename? Columns, right? And then we can provide a key value pairs of old and new list. So we need to change it from index right so we need to change it from index to word and we need to change it from contents to an entry so if i run this now so if you look at it 
right if you look at it now our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in mysql okay so now if you look at this is the same question right expected output is same as well and if you inquire about the table google file store it is the same as well now here you can also do the same thing right uh, if you want like using different functions in mysql one thing you should note is it is becoming a hard difficulty level for you know mysql so there is another smarter way that you can apply here right so like let me just you know talk about this concept so let's say if you know it this is a sentence right so this is a bull right let's say th this is something like this right if i count the length of this you know this string so what will it be right so 4 6 7 for 11 12 13 and 14 so it will count okay there the length of this uh, you know the string is 14 now what is the length of you know this string right what is the length of this string so it is 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so 9 now obviously if i you know subtract 14 and 9 right i am getting 5 so basically you know what we have we have done is we have found okay so 5 is after you remove the words or you know replace that words bull using you know nothing right so now if i divide it right 5 divided by the length of the you know uh, the word bull so 5 divided by 4 and if you round it to nearest integer it is going to be 1 so bull appears one time right similarly if this sentence would have been you know where bull would have been twice right so you know you count the length of the entire thing with the word bull and then you remove that bull and then you count and divide it right so then and round it to you know your nearest integer you are going to get the number of times the bull the word bull appears right so you can apply that logic here as well right so what i am saying is okay so you know we need to return uh, the word bull and bear right so let's do this you know twice right F let's do for bull and then union this with bear right so if i write okay return bull as you know whatever the name of the column so word right and then how to get this this value so basically what i'm doing is so get the length of the contents right length of the contents of that row right so if i write length and then you know uh, parentheses and then contents right so once you have contents and then what you do is you find the length right but before finding the length what you do is you replace right so you replace from the column contents what do you want to replace you want to replace the word bull and with what with nothing once you replace the bull word in the contents column with nothing then you can you know calculate the length right okay so and once you have this and if you divide this right if you divide this by the length of you know the word bull right so this is going to basically give you a rough approximate of number of times the bull has been appearing right so but you know it can be possible that like we saw in the example right so it, it could be like five divided by four and obviously bull is not going to be it is not going to have a fractional value so you need to round it up right so if i write okay round right round this to your nearest integer right and then what you do is for and this is for row by row right so once you have all this entire thing right so you have all this entire thing for all the rows then you basically sum it up right so if i write sum so basically now you have you know so you have from this a table called google file so so yeah you need to you know ignore this part right so here right now we are only calculated okay so from this table or data frame google file store right how many times the word bull is appearing so we are applying this logic and once you have this so basically you return it right so you return this thing right and it should be aliased as right so it should be aliased as n entry right so if i run this right let's say if i run this so now you are getting okay so for word bull you have three times the bull appears right so we can do the same stuff for beer as well right so we write union and then the, if i copy this right so this sh uh, semicolon should be out of it so copy this here right paste it here and the only thing that we need to change is from bull to beer 
right to replace the beer part right and length of beer okay yeah uh okay so if i run this now right let's see what we are getting so bull and beer right and the alias of the columns is same as well as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question but yeah you have to apply some logic so in python what we did was we you know uh firstly converted the entire contents column into lowercase then we splitted those into individual words then we used value count to count the number of times those unique words appear and then we applied boolean indexing to make sure that we are only concerned about bull and bear right and we outputted that in uh, MySQL, what we did was we ap applied a different approach, right? So we firstly found out, you know, try to find out the length of the contents column. Then what we did was we, you know, subtracted the length of the contents column after replacing the word bull by like nothing, right? And then once we have that value, right? So we divided that by the length of the bull so that, you know, we get the number of times the word bull appears right and then we rounded that off and rounded that number right and then we calculated the sum to get okay so how many times the word bull appeared in the entire uh, table right so we did the same thing with beer as well and we just performed a union let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video